All right, welcome everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or subscribe right here on YouTube. Today we're talking Gantt charts in Tableau. So I already have a pre-existing video on how to create a Gantt chart in Excel. So check out that video as well. So let's get started. Uh, here are the minimum fields you're going to need to start uh, uh, creating a Gantt chart in uh, Tableau. You're going to need a task, a start date, and a duration. Uh, if you want to throw a status in there, that's optional, complete in progress, not started. That's completely up to you, but at a minimum, you're going to need those three fields that I just showed you. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the start date and we're going to drag that to columns. We're going to make sure that that is a day. Then we're going to drag the task to rows, right? And I want to create a calculated field at this point. So this is going to be the end date. It's going to be helpful in our tool tip. And this is the calculation. We're going to use the date add function to add a day, right? The duration is uh, essentially in days. We're going to add that to the start date. So we're going to say OK there. And the next thing we can do, we can drag the duration Oops, are in our measures to size, right? Gantt chart's starting to emerge just a little bit right there. If we want to, we can drag the task to uh, to color, uh, just to just to make it uh, um, to show the difference here in the task. Highlight those differences. We may change this later, but that's something that we can do. Uh, Going to take the the start date and drag that to the label. I'm going to take the end date and drag that to the label as well. Again, we want to make sure these are formatted correctly. Let's go ahead and change that to a day. Uh, let's go ahead and take the year here. I'm sorry, change that year to a day uh, for the end date. And if we go here, fit the entire view, you can see we have uh, start and end dates for all of our uh, uh, tasks here. So there you go. There's our, there's our tool tip. So, I want to make sure that these are sorted correctly. You can look at this and see that they're not sorted uh, uh, correctly. So if I go here uh, on our rows, we want to make sure we have that sort. Now I can manually sort, but I'm going to go to field, and I'm going to make sure this is on the, uh, let's go to the start date, and the aggregation doesn't count here. But we'll just pick minimum. We'll apply that. And as you can see, our Gantt chart has come into, uh, into being here. I'm going to edit the axis just a little bit just to change this, uh, you know, day of start day. We'll just, we'll just change that to, whoops, we will attempt to do that. Uh, we're going to edit the axis, just change that to uh, date, hit apply. There we go. And, you know, one other thing I can do, I can put a title in here, but, you know, let's just go ahead and hide that. One last nice little tip uh, we can add here. Let's go ahead and put today. I could create a calculated field, or I could, you know, just put it right here in the detail, right? We've got a, a detail element called today, and I want to change that to a day. And so what that will let me do is create this reference line. Add a reference line. There's our uh, day of today. Uh, we want to make sure that this is the value, so I can see the date is June 10th, and that will change. So we've got a nice little reference line for today to show us uh, where we are. If I wanted to, finally, uh, if I if you decided to uh, populate the status, you can change you know change that over to color if you want. Uh, our greens are our completes. Uh, blues are still in progress with our reds uh, not yet started. So here you go. Nice little tip here uh, showing you how to create a Gantt chart in Tableau. Take this tip. Get out there. Do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.